Put him up, 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 up. Okay. Here we are. What's up, folks? Today, I'm going to be showing you how I produced the song Blazing Message Mercury from the Unity Sound Team Planet Pack. It's this one here. The first thing I had was, oh, there's latency here, um, was this bass. So I just started doing this. I actually very rarely start with the drum beat. I always start with something else. And then this part here. Originally, it was just. Uh, going into this sound is this is actually this is actually um, this is a synthesizer called VPS Avenger. It's really good. It's like Nexus, but you have control over everything. So what we have here, um, there's a lot of things going on here, but I'll just explain what this is. It's, it's, it's a square wave with uh, some effects on it. Let's see, we've got a vibrato, uh, a vibrato. We got a delay. And then we have a distortion. And there's actually another delay on it. Oh wow, there's a reverb on here. I didn't even know that. All right, that just it just comes default with reverb on there. Is this chorus ever on here? I don't think so. Oh, that actually sounds cool. Dang, now I wish I would have put that in the actual song. Flaps! Here's the here's the drums. Here's this one drum by itself. And the actual sample is uh this one. Um, let's see. Yeah. So what happens if I try to play the well, that's weird. But yeah, so that's uh, that was got I that wasn't a drum and bass pack I had since high school probably. It's it's old, but that's what you get the classics from. So let's take a look at the piano roll to see how I put this together. So what I did was uh, one thing that's really cool about Ableton that some programs get fussy about it. Actually, no, Cubase can do it too. It's really just FL Studio. Oh, sorry guys, but uh. No shame on FL Studio though. I've been using that thing for like 15 years. It's it's real good. But so what I would do is I would just like turn it down to like 150. And then I would just play it. Right? So like I would just I would just uh here, I'll I'll Oh, I can't hear it if I um I'm not I'm I'm an able to newbie. I can't remember how to disable the actual part. But I would just so so I would just play that out on the keyboard. I'm going to put this back to 200, and then what I'll do is I'm like, ooh, that's a, this this sounds cool like this. This sounds cool like this, and I also put it in a loop. Wait, no, go go to the go to the. Go to the beginning of the... Okay, this drum is pretty much the same way over here. Now, I'm going to tell you, I uh, got to give Soichi Tirado credit for this one. He's the guy that made the music for Ape Escape because we uh, might have lifted this drum straight from the Ape Escape game. No, straight. Record the guy... Wow, I'm totally recording. How you doing, X? Oh, sorry. Sorry for the... Um, it's too late. You're in it now. It's ruined. Not really. But, so it's basically the same thing over here. I keep forgetting I have to arm it separately instead of clicking on the track. 
So I just pitched this up a little bit. With Ape Escape type music, you just pitch all the drums up and they sound cool. But if you want to hear, I'll do a quick treat. If you want to see what these sound like, um, slow down. Because here, I'll put this at 150. Uh, another thing with these is uh, I know in the... I know in the hip hop communities is like it's like oh we want to have like smooth like like no quantize and stuff but when you have really fast songs it's got to be quantized quantized it's got to be quantized because if it's not it's gonna sound like a real clattery kind of mess and you don't want that so we're gonna slow these down. So that's what they sound like slowed down. So I forgot about this one. So this is actually using a totally different um, um, plugin. Uh, it's a plugin called Groove Agent. Uh, so this is actually created by Steinberg and. I really like this plugin because, well, it works across multiple DAWs, so I can make drum templates like I used. Uh, this is actually, I made this preset called Ape Escape, and it's got some of the Ape Escape sounding stuff in it. it it's It's got a lot of, uh, some stuff I added and some... That's some stuff from the actual Ape Escape game. I was lucky enough to find uh, somebody gave me all of the sound fonts that were used in the original Ape Escape PlayStation game. Because, yes, all of the music in Ape Escape was sequenced in real time. Uh, for the point two people that wanted to know that. Yeah, so um, I was using that here. And also, all of those sync up to the tempo. So that, brew, 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 brew. Uh, I'll go over that too, since that's in the sort of a sort of a drum ish thing. Okay, so this is actually a serum. I'm saying this is actually a lot because these are the actual things. No, I forgot that I have to arm it. I can't just click on the track. So. This is really just a, what is this? I don't even know what shape that is. It's, it's a weird, tr it's like a triangle, triangular thing with a uh, ADSR envelope on the pitch. Where is it? Well, I thought it was on the pitch. Yeah, it is. As you can see right there. So it just, it just, you know, it's it's just playing those notes. That's that's all it's doing. And then I th I believe I am panning it. Am I panning it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just panning it back and forth. That's all that's that's all that that's doing. And then over here, I had to get all complicated with the uh, the 808 rim shots because 808s is a staple in this type of stuff. But just not all, like just not all of it. Just like the the rim shots, the uh, ride symbol, and uh, maybe sometimes the toms are used. And the tambourines. Well, that's not. Right. So that's basically how the drums work. That's basically how the drums work. And we went over a bit of how that bass works. So let's go over how some of the other sounds are set up. So obviously the more prominent one you hear is that. Um, that, my good friends, is a, uh, it's serum. Because serum's in a lot of things. Um, exactly. 
I'll be honest in saying exactly how the sound was created, I can't honestly remember. But I can't even remember what I was trying to do to get this. But I can tell you that there is an auto filter on it, so. Uh, but I kind of like that sound. It sounds very... I wanted something that sounded like harsh when it was move when it was bending but smooth when it was sitting still. So, it starts out harsh but then it gets smooth. And the auto filter is just to kind of like add a little bit of add a little bit of movement to it. Oh, and can you see this? Is this, is this actually animate? Yeah, it does. So this thing here, it uh, the the more to the right it goes, the more the filter opens up, and that is a filter cut off for this. But I also have an auto filter on it because why not? Um. I felt like putting it on there, so it's there. And it adds a little bit more to it. A little tiny bit, it's real subtle. Probably can't even hear it, but it's there. And we're gonna take a look at this sound. So this sound was actually just to give a, get a bit of like smoothness under the, all the, the, the chick -chick 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 -chick, and that crazy bass synth, whatever that is. And it's actually using expand. It's just, it's just a pad sound with, I hate how I keep having to click record on the... It's just a pad sound with a, a flange on it. And if you don't have expand, I suggest getting it because it's very useful. Uh, it's got layers. You can like layer sounds on top of each other. And they have so much sales on so many sales on this. It's like you can get it for a dollar sometimes. It's, uh, I think it's like a plug-in boutique. VST, it's like, I think it's like VST Buzz or plug-in boutique. One of those places. You can get it. And it's really good, and it's got, check this, a crap ton of sounds, and they are some pretty decent sounding sounds, just so you're aware. So, um, yeah, expand, if you don't got anything else, you get a good sounding drum pack, and you get expand, and uh, you can be good to go. So that's how that sound works. That's how basically with these, sound, and it's just playing some chords uh to kind of go along with it uh i can't remember what mode that is fun music theory fact if you know what mode you're playing in you could pretty much play any any note in that scale and put them together and it'll sound probably pretty decent. So. All right, so there's a couple of things going on here. Um, also, I noticed these chords are like kind of off a little bit. That's, that's, that's bothersome. So there's a couple of things happening. So I'm gonna turn some of this stuff off. Mm. Oh, you're already off by default. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things going on here. So, the first thing going on is a real basic, like those, like, those real basic, like, orc hits that you get from the 90s. You know, um, but then we put on, uh, Ableton had a, uh, what is this? The Kamoni live strip, Kamoni, Kamoni live strip. So that's got a lot of cool little, like, like repeat and stutter and some crazy delays with an auto filter. I think, I can't remember if it was in there. I just added it in there.
And I think I did draw some like ba 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 and I, I like adding the little the little rolls in there to uh just to kind of catch your ears off guard. Oh there 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 goes one right now. Ba 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 So that those are really cool. And I do it the same way with, with like the, the pencil tool. Um and then I just like you know, you just do it like that. And and then you just shorten them all and then it just sounds like this. But yeah, and then you can just do thirds by pressing control three because you want thirds? There you go, buddy. It's thirds. That's how that works. And I just added that in for some flavor. Um, and it wasn't too far from the, it was in the same, here's a new term I just learned from uh, neural networks. It's in the same latent space. Ooh, hmm, latent spaces. It's in the same latent space as the other sounds, meaning it sounds similar enough uh, that it fits well with them. Or at least I think it does. It could probably be mixed better. I'm not the mixing pro here. I just make the music and hopefully it doesn't s destroy your speakers in a, in a bad way. So this uh, is, I'm sure this is serum. And I can tell you right off the bat that this is a variation of that, like that other sound. This is a variation of that sound as you see it looks very familiar but the only thing that i did was i made it uh not monophonic and of course i didn't arm the track because why would i do that it's like wii sports but in the future or something and it's the same it's the same thing though these chords it's not It's in the same scale, which is a D. I don't remember what mode this is. It's like Dorian or something, but anyways. So it's just doing that. And as you can hear, oh my gosh, it's not even quantized properly. How did I let this get out? What was I thinking? Oh, I was probably thinking, oh my gosh, the song has to be out tomorrow. So let me hurry up and finish it. Maybe no one will notice, but now you will. And uh, I have no comment on why that it's not chromatized, except that I just didn't realize it. Side note, you'll also realize that I, uh, now when I click the tracks, it arms itself to record. What I had to do was go into app data, then go into Ableton, then Go into here, then over here, and then I had to create a text file, which you create a text file by going to new and then text file. There it is. And then once you make it, you name it options. Then when you name it options, you go in it and you write this. Okay. You write this specific line of what? Not that. Options. You go into options and you write this specific line of code. How would you know to write that? You wouldn't, unless you looked on the internet. Ableton has a whole bunch of experimental features that they're not going to tell you about. Guys, this is supposed to be the most intuitive program. That's what people are telling me. It's so intuitive. You can just go and do things. And for the worst part, yes, it is. But holy hams, I had to go and do all that stuff to get it to work to whatever anyways so the that sound you if you listen closely you'll hear it so that's just to add a little bit of a little bit of something extra for your little ear candy so i just added 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 that into Make it a little bit more interesting. So that's the same. Actually, it's another variation of that like from earlier. 
it's a, another variation of that same sound. I made a lot of variations of things. You'll see, it, it's 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 just that now it's not uh, monophonic. How do we make it monophonic again? Here we go. And it's also strange that it's not quantized. That's. And here's probably the most interesting part. So it's like a lot of seventh and ninth chords. And the reason I put those in there is because before that, before they were in here, uh, there was a button to in. I don't know what it is. All right, whatever. And that's how it was. And I was like, eh, it needs something else. It needs. And I thought, oh, some real cool, like, chord, like some real cool, like, quick harmonies. Make it sound real complicated. Ooh. So that's that's basically that's basically what's happening. I did not play those by hand. I most definitely drew them in. I, actually, what I did was I copied the other one and just just uh, duplicated all the notes. So we're gonna unpack this sound here for. Um, so we got an auto filter going on here. And I put that on so it again so it can have a little bit of movement. And our friend Expand is back. And so we've just got it's uh it's it's those layered sounds, so we have this. Which uh, is a variation of the uh, sound from before, but we also added this. Add a little bit of a uh, technical movement. Because if we have, if we take that second one off, it's the same as the first one, but a slightly heavier flange. Let's see if we can go grab that one. Yeah, so it's the same. It's the same as that. Yeah, that's. It, it really doesn't get any simpler than this. This is just. It, it's literally just a, a bass sound. It's just like a sine wave. What is that? It's not a sine wave. It's a. It's kind of a sine-ish wave thing. That's all that's going on with that bass. Let's see what else we got going on over here. Uh, so this is Silent. I like using Silent because it has a very sharp, bright sounds. Uh, Serum, you can make the same sounds. Actually, a lot of synths you can make the same sounds. You can make the same sounds in Serum. You can make them in Avenger. You can make them in um, Vital, which is a really cool free synth that is kind of like Serum. So I suggest checking that out if you didn't. But Sorry, I love that sound. Uh, that was actually based off a patch I made for something totally different. But it's it's basically a square, uh, a saw, saw wave um, with a uh, bit of a uh, ADSR on the pitch, so it goes like instead of just going. Um, we turn this off. We turn this A pitch off. We just and then we turn it back on. Wait a minute. 
Let me turn it back on. If I can find the, there it is. So we have that. Um, but yeah, it makes very bright sounding, bright sounding things. It's not as accurate. It's not as uh, accurately modeled as serum is, but because of that, it has a sort of alias effect, which doesn't sound good in some cases, but it does make for bright, sharp um, uh, leads in some cases, uh, which I like. That did it, did it. You can see. It's, it sounds like a delay, but it's not. I just, it's just, I just threw, I just threw that in there. And that, pew, 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 that's, that's a uh, sound that's in the uh, um, Ape Escape drum thing from Groove Agent. That's, in, that's from there. What else do we have? Oh, we have this part. It's got a real bright, sharp sound, so you probably can tell it's from silence. I ran out of keys. So, um, that's another preset I made. I like making very, if you can't tell, I like making very bright, sharp presets or bright, sharp leads. Oh, I thought I had a, I thought I had a, a mod wheel thing for bravado, but I guess I never set that up. But anyways, I I had to throw that little like lead in there. I think I actually th uh, did a similar lead on a song by N6J on the Cyberspace pack from the Unity Sound Team. That's also on Bandcamp. You can go and check that out. But um, anyway, that's I added that so it could just. So that is like it's just like a really washed out crash symbol. I can't even figure out where it is now. I don't even know what. It's like somebody running up a stair rail or something. It's just some kind of sound to fill it in. Yeah, and then it builds back up to this next part, which is going to be the really interesting part. And then we have this. It, it's the same as before. Just playing some chords. As all Ape Escape songs have to have that, um, uh, what do you call that thing? It's got the chords. And I actually did play this, uh, live. Now, now I think I played it a little bit slower, but uh, Wait a minute. whatever you get the point. I uh. <laughs> I uh, did play that. I took a second to practice that. And then, of course, we cheated in Quantum. And uh, one uh, trick to get these things to really sound, sound like really snappy, like ba ba ba, is you'll notice that every um, time it lets go of the chord, there's a little gap. Because if, it, if you don't have the gap, it'll just end up sounding like this. Hold on. It is cool. It sounds cool, but you had that gap in there. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it just sounds cooler to me. And also, that's what uh, Tirada did uh, on a lot of his songs. Um, 
with an Apescape. And outside of Apescape, but mainly I know that I know them from Apescape. And this sound is It's the same it's the same one as before. It's the same uh exact sound. It's it's the same thing. It was similar to the one that was playing It's a variation of that of this. It's a variation. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about this. Song. One thing I forgot to mention about this sound. Where is it? 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 Here it is. Here it is. Is you'll notice these little bends. Now I put these bends in here. You're gonna notice a weird, weird one right here. So I added those bends in. It seems like a little not noticeable thing. But it makes it feel kind of like a hard rubbery sound. A hard rubbery sound. And it makes it feel like flexible. Like it's like hard hitting, but it's still flexible. And it has some uh, has some sort of smooth movement to it. Those those smooth pads are to make the song have like it's like that that's like the the glossy finish on them i guess same goes for this bass right here like that sounds like ba 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 and bet the bass like and that uh 808 rim shot's going going crazy uh the bass what is this Um, I might not have made the wisest decision here to go from this to this. And also you'll notice the little tambourines are doing something slow. Another variation of that same. It's a, it's another variation of that. Actually, it's the. Uh, I think at this point in the song, I was like, well, I made enough things, so I could just probably reuse them somewhere else. Uh, so, you get so far in a song, and you can just start reusing pieces and parts from the other other things. Like I was like, oh, I use this part patch this way, but now over here, I'm using it. The lead and just to just to uh add more to it and then i think i did something even more with the drums over here so maybe it's running a little long in the tooth there but uh really driving driving that home and i could have actually added some more stuff in there but i think at this point I was like, eh, maybe it's And if you want to hear what those rim shots are doing real fast, we'll do. That could be like its own little uh, thing right there. And actually, fun fact, this song was actually going, this song actually used to be faster. I think originally it was at 240. Man, can you imagine? That's, that's intense. It's, it's crazy. So that here is actually a... Uh, this drum break right here is actually from another song I did called uh, called Seismic, which was in Crossnick Plus. So I just took some of the drum breaks from there. So thanks for checking it out. I know it was a little bit long, but hopefully you uh, 
got something out of it feel free to ask any questions if you have any um like i said that track along with all of the other planets within our solar system can be checked out on the unity sound team bandcamp page and all of the uh the funds from from purchasing those go right to uh charity and extra life so that's pretty cool doing stuff for the babies with unity or unity that's v-i-e-w-u-n-i-t-y and uh let me know if you want a track breakdown of any other tracks that's on this page or something and if i still have the project then i'll be able to do that um assuming all the plugins and stuff still work because if you pull up something from like a long time ago well eh, that's not guaranteed <clears throat> but anyway that was great thanks for checking it out if you liked what you saw do the thumbs up thing and hit the bell subscribe i don't even what was that the right order i don't know do do all those three things and, and and comment i like comments because then i can like see your thoughts and then i can respond to those thoughts and we can have like a open up a dialogue right because that, that's always cool so that's it have a blessed evening or morning or whatever time of day it is dream core out <laughs>